Hello creative friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another exploration in neurographica related art. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, so basically, I'm still using some of the principles of neurographica, but I've decided to kind of go off in a different direction this week. It is springtime in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, and I've been inspired by a lot of the blooming flowers and the leaves popping out on the trees. And so I was thinking a lot about the colors of spring. So as I was working on this this week, I was kind of hoping to end up with something like an abstract floral when I got done. So I really kind of focused on doing the underpainting in a way that kind of represented flowers and foli foliage, then just kind of rolled the dice to see what would happen with the neurographic lines on top. So you'll have to tell me if you think it was effective. I think it kind of looks like an abstract floral. Um, it's interesting, it was fun to just experiment a little bit. So what do I wanna talk about this week? Well, first of all, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Happy to have you along on the journey. Um, if you haven't watched my introduction video, go back and watch that. You'll get an idea about what I'm going to do on this channel. It's not going to only be about neurographic painting. Um, I do a variety of different type of artwork, um, mostly just creating and experimenting. I, I am doing a little bit of exploring in um, card making and die cutting. Um, I bought myself a little uh, hand crank die cutting machine uh, recently. <laughs> There's a little story there, a little backstory. Um, over the Christmas holidays, I I bought a Cricut. <laughs> and full disclosure, I was not sober when I made that purchase. It was very much a spur of the moment, expensive spur of the moment purchase. And, um, and then I got it and I unpacked it and I thought, oh my God, this is gonna be another creative rabbit hole to go down. Like all of the materials and accessories and you know, I have to make space for it. And I, so anyway, I, <laughs> I regretted my purchase and I sent it back. <laughs> the thing is I really wanted to be able to do some die cutting. And so I was trying to figure out a, you know, a more cost effective way to, to do that. I did a little homework on YouTube and I discovered that um, there is a way that you can use metal die cuts with a um, with your bone folder. So I got a couple metal dies and tried that method and essentially you just you put your um, paper and your die together and you rub the back side with your bone folder and it's supposed to cut out your shape. Well, I didn't have any luck with that. <laughs> it was a disaster. I just mangled up the paper. Um, nothing looked good. It kind of moved around. Um, that was a failed experiment. So I bit the bullet and just ended up buying a little six inch embossing and die cutting hand crank machine. I think it was like 80 bucks. So, you know, it's much better than spending 300 on a Cricut. Um, and, you know, I just, I don't want to have like this big explosion of tools and things that I need. I just want to have a small selection of dies and um, embossing folders that I can use to make a few simple things. So, um, anyway, I've been starting to experiment a little bit with that. And the thing I'm, I think I'm going to experiment with next is I'm really interested in making pop-up cards. If you go to, there's a website called Love Pop, and they do beautiful, exquisite pop-up cards. And it's just such an inspiration to look at what they do and how they put it together. So I've started watching some tutorials on YouTube on pop-up cards, and um, I'm going to experiment with some of the limited um, metal dies that I have. I've got a little floral one that I think might actually work for a pop-up card. So I'm going to start recording um, some footage of doing that and um, bring you along the journey with me. So that's it for today. I'm going to turn on the music and let you sit back and relax and watch this all come together.
Thank mm-hmm. you.